Hello everyone and welcome back to JL Tech. Today in this video we're going to be sending an email using Visual Basic, uh, Visual Studio and VB.net. Um, the first thing I'm going to do before we get started is I'm just going to name this button as I forgot to do this. So I've made a, a basic form and uh, there's nothing in here yet. If I just show you the code it's you know it's completely empty. The only thing I've done is I've added four text boxes, four labels and a button. Um, so this text box is called txt from mail, txt to mail, txt mail subject, txt mail message. So these are coming to play later. Um, we're going to be sending our email using a Gmail account. So I'm just going to create an account for myself. We're going to put all of our details in here. And I'm just going to create a new email here. at gmail.com and I'm just going to create a new password here and then once we have all of our details I'm just going to hit next we're going to skip um, this oh it wants my number so we'll put that in just waiting for my code here we go now obviously if you already have a, a gmail account you want to use you can obviously leave this blank um, but this is just basically signing up for Gmail. We can press next, express, we can leave all of this stuff blank, just press confirm, I agree. And then as soon as you get into your Gmail account, once it loads, There you go, we're now in our Gmail account. Now, as soon as you're in your Gmail account uh, and you're logged in, you can see our new email here is jltech2021 at gmail.com. You can contact me on this email if you need any help with this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our address bar and we're going to type in myaccount.google.com forward slash less secure apps. Now, what this is basically going to do, it's going to let se less secure apps send emails Ooh. for us. So what this is going to do, it's going to let us send an email from our Visual Basic app by enabling this. If you don't have this enabled, it, it won't work basically. So now we have that, we can load up vb.net and we can start to code. So we're going to double click our send email button. And first of all, we're just going to add a comment of what our code is going to do. So this code will send an email. And first of all, we're going to do is we're going to start with a try. Um, and then what we're going to do first is the first thing we want to do is at the top is we need to import some some new um, modules. So we're just going to do imports system dot net dot mail, and now we can begin our code. So we, first of all we're going to dim smtp underscore server as new smtp client. What's going on? Oh, I spelled new wrong as new smtp client we're then going to dim e underscore mail as new mail message we're then going to go smtp dot server dot use what's going on here okay use default credentials equals false so it's not going to use the default credentials, obviously what we logged into. We're now going to set the credentials, so we'll do smtp server dot credentials equals new net dot network credential. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a space in here. And this is going to be our email address, so um, I forgot what I set it as. Um, da -da -da -da, let's go Gmail. Let's turn those off. And we're just going to copy our. Oh, come on. We're just going to copy our email address. Come on. And then you're going to put a, a comma, and then you're going to put an apostrophe with the password right there. Okay, I'm going to put the password in last, uh, just so obviously you don't see the password, but that's where your password would go. Um, that's not the password, <laughs> by the way. Um, we'll do smtp 
dot server and port equals and then you want to use the port so it's 587 which is gmail's port we're going to go SNTP underscore server dot enable SSL equals true just enabling our SSL certificate there we're going to declare our host so SNTP server dot host equals SMTP dot nope dot no oh I know why needs to go in an apostrophe SMTP dot gmail dot com then what we're going to do is we're going to declare our email strings here so we're going to go email equals new mail message add two little apostrophe things on the end then we're going to go um, We've done our host, we've done our mail message. Um, okay, let's do our email. Dot from. So under the mail message, we're going to have our from, and that's going to be new mail address, and then it's going to be in brackets txt from mail dot text. So this is who it's going to come from um, when we send our email. This is going to be the from address. Once you have the from address, we can add the to address. So we're going to go email dot to dot add, and then we can put txt to mail dot text. Once we add that, we can sort out our subject. I keep tabbing the wrong thing. Sorry, guys. Um, email dot um, subject equals txt mail subject dot text. Um, after the subject, uh, this one varies. Um, it depends what you what you want to do, but we're just going to basically change this body HTML to false. If you want to be able to use HTML in your email, set that to true. Um, I'm not going to bother doing that. Um, then you want to go email again um, dot body. So this is going to be our message, and then txt message nope mail message dot text. Um, and then what finally we're just going to contact our SNTP server we're going to send and then what are we sending we're going to send our email if all of that works we're now going to throw a message box and we're just going to set this as um, email sent thanks and then we're going to change um, message box style to information and then as our exception what we're going to throw here is a message box again and then we're going to say something failed try again and then this time we'll throw a message box style critical warning and yeah that is pretty much the code so just to, to relay we're dimming and declaring our SMT server as an SMTP client um, you know, we're dimming email as a mail message. We're using the default credentials, no, because we want to use these credentials. That's our port. We're enabling SSL. That's the host. We're just declaring a new mail message here. New mail address from mail address is txt whatever's in txt from mail dot text. It's going to go to whatever emails in txt to mail dot text. Um, subject is going to be txt mail subject dot text. We're not using HTML. Um, and then there's our body. And then it finally it's going to execute our query. Right, so I've just changed the code and I've put the password in for this email. Um, so we're now going to start this application and we're going to send an email. So there you go, our application started. Let's paste in our email here, it's coming from JR Tech. We're going to send this to my spam email. And the subject will just be JR Tech YouTube Tutorial. Spelt that wrong, I think. And then for the message as well, we'll just put, hey, hey guys. So we press send. Email sent, thanks. So if we now check our emails. So straight away, I've loaded up my emails here. You can see we've got an email from JL Tech 2021. If we click this, it's going to say, JL Tech YouTube tutorial, hey guys, our subject's pulled through. Our from email has pulled through here. Um, so yeah, that, that is pretty much how you send an email using vb.net. 
Um, if this video helped you out at all, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot. And uh, if you have any issues or anything else, just drop them down below in the comment section or send an email to jltech2021 at gmail.com um, and I'll come back to you. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.